Hey, what's going on guys? Zappe here as a quick little update video for you with Pokemon Mystery Universe. The rest of the Gen 5 Shinies that have not been released yet are officially released. I do not know if I went over this when it came out, but on September 30th, which I believe was almost two weeks ago, two weeks as of tomorrow, um, the Gen 5 Shinies that weren't released are now released. Not only that, but the Gen 6 starters are now shiny huntable. The Gen 7 starters are now shiny huntable. And even shiny Noibat is now also huntable. So let me give you an idea of where these all are because staff gave these, um, a lot of these Pokemon some places where you can actually shiny hunt them. So, um, here are the places where you can obtain shiny starters. Snivy has now been added as a recruitable in Archipelago Thicket. Chespin has been added to Verdier Bluff as a recruitable. Oshawott and Poplio have been added as recruitable shinies in Shimmering Seabed. Litten and Tepig are in Scorched Grasslands as recruitables now to shiny hunt. And also... Rowlet has been added to Archford Dojo. Now, the huge thing about that is dojos do not typically have recruits. Only the Tandron one did. And Archford's Rowlet might be removed for later, so I would hunt it while you can. And some other Gen 5 recruits in new places are increased floor ranges. Heatmore and Durant have been added to Rocky Ravine. Ducklet is now shiny huntable in Sunken Gardens. It was not there before. Egg only. Heatmore was also egg only, and Durant was only in the Undercity Catacombs on the final 10 floors. Uh, Tynamo is now in Voltaic Rainforest as a recruit and to be shiny huntable. Blitz Blitzel has been added as a recruitable in Rustic Savannah. Darumaka has now been made recruitable in Sunrise Temple. Petalil and Cottony are are, were added as recruitables in Crescent Isle. Islet. Um, Audino has been added into Ash Forest as a recruitable. Timber, Scraggy, and Panchim are now all in Wind and Training Dojo as recruitables. Dino is now in Sky Fortress Dark as a recruitable. Panpour has been added into Shimmering Seabed. Panseer has been added into Scorched Grasslands. And Pansage has been added into Lush Archipelago as recruitables in the first 10 floors. Um, the eggs in these dungeons, um... Panpour's egg has been moved to Happiness Lake, Sunny Hillside has gotten the Panseer egg, and Fruity Grotto has gotten the Pansage egg. <clears throat> the egg in Shimmering Seabed will have Clampearl now instead. And Sandial has had increased floor range. Axu is now all 20 floors of um, uh, Deep Dragon's Descent, or whatever it's called, I'm sorry, yeah, Deep Dragon's Descent, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and Rufflet has also had increased floor ranges in um, the uh, Mount Stormhold. So lots and lots of things to shiny hunt now. And as a little uh, thing to show you, as you do see right here, I have a buddy of mine who has also gotten a shiny Zerua. Shiny Zerua is also obtainable. Obviously, when you go into Monster Houses, you have to use Sweet Scent to summon Zerua. And that Zerua will have a chance of spawning Shiny, of course. Just thought I'd show you a little example of one of the brand new ones that was added, just to have a little bit more showing of it. But yeah, so if you guys... Stuff like Rock and Roll and stuff before, of course, was also done. And um, I do believe... Um, or no, I did... Um, actually, no. I do have a uh, dungeon I will have to go over, because it did get a bit of an overhaul. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and in the next part, I think we're going to go over this remade dungeon that happened. See you guys then, most likely.